This is Generation Stadia, giving you that daily dose of everything and anything cloud gaming related, and today we're going to be talking about a pretty big rumor that's going around. And it's a pretty big deal because of the reputable source behind it, not to mention it will have some serious implications for the video game industry as a whole. This time the rumor comes from a man named Brad Sams, you may recognize him if you follow Microsoft whatsoever as that's what he usually covers. He's got a pretty good track record when it comes to leaking information, in fact he's the one who leaked the Xbox Series S. But this time around his information wasn't just about Microsoft, it included Amazon, Google and even Sony to some degree. Apparently there's a lot of movement within all of these companies to make some studio acquisitions within the industry, with some of them Brad Sams actually describing as big industry names. Whether or not that alludes to another big purchase like when Bethesda got bought out is still up in the air, and according to Sams at this point it's impossible to predict which group will make a move on which company. To be honest I can't say I'm too surprised, the industry has been headed in this direction for quite some time now. Intellectual properties owned by developers and publishers alike are actually worth quite a bit right now. And as the popular saying goes, content really is king at this point in time. It's a message that's been shared quite often in the past few months. Even Square Enix's CEO stated as much in his New Year's greeting. The fact is is that companies are gonna be purchased, not just from platform holders but bigger publishers as well. We already have an example of this with Codemasters, the creators of the Dirt franchise and other racing series. Take-Two Interactive made a bid for them only to be outbidded by EA Games later on. While the deal isn't fully finalized yet, it certainly seems like EA is going to be the one to actually own them. And this is more than likely just the beginning of more buyouts to follow. Another big one that is probably going to happen sooner rather than later is Warner Brothers Interactive. And in this scenario, there's rumors about EA, Sony, Microsoft, and Take-Two all being interested in this buyout. But that's enough about those companies, now let's switch our focus to both Google Stadia and Amazon Luna. According to Brad's initial report, both of these companies are actually more interested in buyouts than Sony is. And rightfully so, they're both the new kids on the block and they have a lot to prove. In addition to that, they're both outnumbered in terms of first party studios when compared to the other players in the game. Not only in quantity, but quality as well. Google appears to be building up most of their first party studios from scratch, but that also means they're unproven. Amazon on the other hand has already made some buyouts, but it doesn't seem like any of them have actually pushed out anything worthwhile, in fact quite a few of their games have already been cancelled. Both of them would benefit in a big way by acquiring talent that already exists, and talent that's already dependable. Arguably even more important than that would be the intellectual properties that are attached to each buyout. Just take Warner Brothers for example, having a big name like Mortal Kombat attached to your platform is a much bigger deal than a new IP. It's a brand name that's instantly recognized and most people already know what to expect of it. Not only is it a successful franchise, but it goes far beyond games as well. While I do prefer having new IP myself, I understand that when it comes to marketing, having a big name that's recognized is much more important. And with the way things are, both Google and Amazon don't really have the time to actually create and foster IP until they're a recognized name. Accomplishing that sort of goal isn't an easy feat, it can take 2-3 to three games in a franchise for it to become a staple IP. And with AAA development cycles taking around 3-5 to five years if not more, well you can easily see how that time would add up. So yeah, the quickest solution to getting more exclusive content on your platform is probably through acquisitions. This is a lesson that Microsoft has learned and there's a reason why they're on a buying spree when it comes to this. And I have little to no doubt that their purchase of Bethesda kinda put every other company on notice. They made it very clear during their announcement that it was far from their last purchase and they were definitely interested in more. Now look, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that this makes me happy, I personally can't say I am. And I don't care whether it's Google, Sony, Microsoft, or any other video game company trying to make these purchases. To keep it real with you, I think it's pretty lame when a major franchise gets locked behind a certain company, especially when said franchise used to be multi-platform. But as I've said in video after video, the gaming industry is becoming so profitable and so large this was just inevitable. 
In an ideal world, sure, it would be neat if each platform could have the time to nurture talent and build their own studios from the ground up, but that's certainly not the case. I do think it's worth noting that a platform holder acquiring a studio and a set of IP does not guarantee that they'll make it exclusive to their platform. Now if that sounds a bit confusing, it's once again just about the money. There's a lot of money to be made on selling these games on other platforms. It's the very reason that Minecraft works and runs on every platform available out there despite being owned by Microsoft. I do think for certain intellectual property it makes more sense for these companies to sell them everywhere possible rather than keep them exclusive. Not to mention, with cloud gaming finally being here and on the horizon for the future of all of these companies, it's more about selling the games themselves or the service to access them. Let me put it this way, let's say the next Doom entry was available on Stadia at full price, but also available on Xbox Game Streaming a part of their Game Pass subscription. I'd say there's a good chance that many of you would be willing to check out Xbox Game Streaming just to play that game and save a good $50 to $60. And really, that's the big goal behind Game Pass, it's about getting you in for one game and then keeping you there for the rest once you realize just how much is available. Obviously, this is all hypothetical, and it's also assuming that both services run pretty evenly in the future. But I think most of you get what I'm getting at when I say it's more about getting you into their ecosystem rather than getting you to buy their new hardware. Now before I end the video, I do want to end with some predictions on which companies I can see getting bought out. I genuinely believe quite a few Japanese publishers and developers are in the talks here. The Japanese video game consumer market is definitely heavily leaning toward mobile games nowadays. With that being the case, I could totally see the likes of Capcom, Sega, and even Square Enix being bought out. I also imagine a few of the stronger independent developers are also in talks. The first one to come to mind is IO Interactive, the studio behind the Hitman series. They have a strong IP and also a very talented team of developers. But these are just my predictions, none of it's guaranteed to be happening or even rumored to. With that said, I still want to hear your predictions down in the comment section below, so let me hear them. Now if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out, and if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. Today's end of video question is going to be asking you for your thoughts and opinions on publishers and platform holders acquiring more studios. Does it worry you? Are you happy with it? Let me know your opinion down in the comments section below. As always, thank you for watching the video, this has been Generation Stadia giving you that daily dose of everything and anything cloud gaming related. The Gen S community is over 7,900 strong and growing by the day, and until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds.